Today's Retro Spot, we're having a look at something a little bit different. Today we're having a look at Grossville High Trading Cards. This comes courtesy of, uh, well, actually, it comes courtesy of the GF. She had this. She actually found this at her uh, estate, her lavish estate, and asked me if I'd ever heard of them. And to be honest, I've never heard of these at all. I've heard of, obviously, uh, wacky packs and garbage pail kids and stuff like that, but I've never heard of Grossville High, to which she immediately said, well, I think that would make a, a good review. And I said, I think that'd be a great idea. And then she said, I think we should also go out for a nice expensive dinner. And I said, why don't we just think about the Grossville High first and we'll go from there. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, today we're having a look at the Grossville High cards. Now I've got a small stack of them. I don't have these in packs or anything like that. But uh, if at any which down the road of this review throughout the course of this video, if you do remember these, by all means, let me know down below. Again, this is absolutely a new experience to me. Um, they look like they kind of take elements from the Garbage Pail Kids and then just kind of branch off on them as they are more or less gross depictions of teachers that you could find at, I guess, Grossville High. On the front, we've got, now this isn't nice, we've got Professor Sigmund Fraud. And it looks like he's got some poor, I don't know if that's a guinea pig, a small dog, it could be a rat, I guess it is a rat, hooked up to an electric chair. Now that's not nice at all. It says, today's lesson, shock treatment. And we've got some sort of Igor character in the back. Anything on the back? Oh, Sigmund Fraud's rat, rat maze. Get your pencil and help Professor Fraud's lab rat find the cheese. Somebody has already apparently done the maze. Didn't seem like it was all that complex, but they might have done a better job than what I would have done. We've got Judy Cootie. I find the the illustrations are a little cruder than some of the garbage pails. This looks like it was probably uh, a little more... I don't know, these seem like they're a little cruder. But we've got Judy Cootie. Um, I didn't realize that that's what cooties look like, but apparently stay away from Judy as she is covered head to toe in cooties and apparently has hairy arms as you can see. Ooh, Dan Druff. Is it snowing in here? No, it's a Stan. Stan. We got Cheat Sheet Charlie covered head to toe in cheats. Sheets. All the other kids are stumped as to what they're going to do. Not Charlie here. Charlie is ready to cheat. Got Professor Square Rutsky. He comes from the state hospital. Dale Fail. It's remarkable how all of them are gross. Like, apparently, his biggest problem is he just fails. Teacher is stern in the back with a ruler. He's not paying attention. He's reading Ratman comics. But apparently, he still has to be gross looking. Or maybe he's failed at the ability to keep himself clean. He's failed in English. Apparently he's also failed in personal hygiene. We got Fanny Form. Some sort of lizard. Bob Beaker. Ooh, that's a science experiment that went wrong. We got Professor Lyle Loeb. What's on his mind? You literally can see what's on his mind. George Gorge. We got Grody Jody. That's rather gross. She's also got hairy legs. None of the girls apparently at Grossville High shave. We got Mao Si Tung. I don't know. Let's put those down. Uh, Ku Karacha. Oh, I see. I see what they're doing. Sometimes Spot doesn't clue in right away to uh, word, funny play on words. 
She's made. She's reading Spanish made sleazy. Interesting. Also really gross as well. Anything on the back? Oh, there's something actually on the back of these cards. Ku Caracha's rules at dances. Bowling skirt and dirty sneakers are opt. Nose picking must be done facing the wall. Any students who are too clean will be doused with toxic waste and or yesterday's lunch. I don't know. Between the two, I think I would prefer the uh, yesterday's lunch than toxic waste. Uh, when spitting on the floor, try to miss the other dancers. When dancing, avoid stepping on other mas on our mascot, Ronnie Roach. Fly swatters are permitted to keep flies off your date. You must dance an entire song with your partner, no matter how bad he or she smells. We've got Betty Blooper. Uh oh. Now she's she's cut off her limb, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on here. I don't, has she? She's then proceeded to cut up. Oh, okay. She's holding a carrot. I'm thinking, are those her fingers? No, she's holding a carrot. She's sliced the carrot and then realized, apparently, fingers, knuckles, wrist, she never clued in that she was cutting off her hand, I guess, until she cut off at the elbow. We've got Miss Body English. Ooh, that's one class I think I'm going to fail. Mr. Zoolittle. Janitor Jim. Janitor's daily schedule. I won't read all the backs of these, but... Jackie Acne. Ugh. Static Ling. Foxanne. Again, she's a fox, but she's gross. I don't know how that works. Terry Two-Faced. Homeroom Rhonda. Love Sick Rick. Also, if you're wondering, there's 66 cards to collect. I don't have all 66 here, but Nurse Curse. Bruce Screw Loose. B.O. Joe. That guy's got a case of B.O. Look at the guys in the back. They're just like, woo! Can you be somewhere else, Joe? We got Billy Bob Slob. Covered in hair. Prima Donna. Go ahead. Make my play. Vinny the Vice. Debbie Desperate. I'm available for, for a date anytime. No waiting. Free movie. Free dinner. I don't know what it says down there. But she's heading out, handing out flyers that say Date Debbie. Apparently these guys disagree. They don't want to. Vic Vomit. And crisscross. Crisscross make you jump, jump. It says stop, moron. Is that a male or is that a female? I'm not quite sure, but it's number 34 of number 66. The Grossville Grime. Inside story. Grossville Central Park Haven for Birds. This guy is getting showered in bird debris. Debris. There you go. Um... Definitely not one of my favorite cards from the 80s. Again, I didn't even know these really existed. Um, I wouldn't say that they're on par with Garbage Pail Kids. I think get Garbage Pail Kids are definitely a step up from these. But uh, very cool that the GF actually had these. I didn't know that they existed. Maybe you guys didn't know these existed either. Today's re retro spot, we're having a look at Grossville High trading cards. Not the best, but... Still interesting cards, to say the least. Thanks for watching, guys. Certainly stick around. More retro spots are heading your way. And I'll see you guys next time.